What's up, Warriors? Good evening sa inyong tanan. Ako day si Harley and I am your MC for today. So before ito mag-start sa itong service, kay naas at tayo mind pa dula. So kinsa excited nila. So ang title day sa itong game kay Red Lights, Green Lights. So kaninga game kay it's part ni siya sa k-drama nga Squid Game. So sa mga nakatanaw na Squid Game nila, kaway-kaway. So ayan, so simple lang kayong mechanics sa itong game. So mag-ask ko of random questions and all you have to do is pag true siya, um, just comment green light. Pero pag false siya, just comment red light. So kabalo ko excited na jud mutanan. So let's start the game. So ang first question kay, In the book of Joshua, it took the Israelites 10 days to enter Jericho. Green lights or red lights? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. 4, 3, 2, 1. So, ang correct answer kay, red lights. Because it took the Israelites 7 days to enter Jericho. So, the second question is, Daniel was thrown in the lion's den. Red light or green light? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So, the correct answer is, Green lights. So the next question is, there were 12 people that were saved on the ark. Red lights or green lights? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So the correct answer is, red lights. Okay, 8, um, 8 lang kabuok ang nasave. So next question is, the language of the biblical New Testament was green. Red light or green light? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So the correct answer is green light. And so for our last question, Psalms has 150 books. Red light or green light? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So the correct answer is green light. So ayan, kabalo ko na na perfect yun to ninyo no. Salamat kayo sa pag-participate sa itong game. I hope na mag-enjoy yun ta the rest of the night o mag-bless ta sa word na kiprepare ni Lord karang gabi una. Salamat kayo and bye-bye. God bless! Forgiven Singing redemption song There's a fire that burns inside A fire that burns inside Nothing can stop us We'll be running through the night No, our passion will not die Our passion will not die We are the free, the freedom generation Singing of mercy You are the one who set us all in motion Yours is the glory There's a fire in our heart and it burns for you It's never gonna fade away For we are the free and yours is the glory We are the risen Living alive in you And our passion will not die No, our passion will not die Nothing can stop us We'll be running through the night And our passion will not die Our passion will not die We are the free, the freedom generation Singing of mercy You are the one who set our soul in motion 
Yours is the glory There's a fire in the heart and it burns for you It's never gonna fade away We are the free and yours is the glory Yours is the glory Glory up from the grave, he rose again. Up from the grave, he rose, and we will rise up, rise up into the world that you so love. Into the world, he go, and we will rise up, rise up, rise up. We are the free, the freedom generation Singing a mercy You are the one who set us all in motion Yours is the glory We are the free, the freedom generation Singing a mercy You are the one who set us all in motion Yours is the glory There's a fire in the heart and it burns for you it's never gonna fade away Yes, Lord We are the free And yours is the glory Yours is the glory Good evening, Warriors. Tonight is a victorious night indeed because thanks God it's Friday. Okay, another Friday na mag fellowship to together. And I believe na nablast kayo ta sa to ang praise and worship ganiha. Thank you kayo, worship team. So right now, let's go to our word sa to ang preaching. But before that, I would like to introduce myself muna. I'm Donabel Carol Yucubello and I will be your speaker for tonight. Okay, so before anything else, I would like also to recognize the presence of our senior pastor, Pastor Rico Hilario, our youth pastor, Pastor Glenn Torrejas, Pastor Jota Miliana, Pastor Jobert Buen, and to all our elders, sa to ang mga Ignite, sa ato ang Holy Fire Youth Warriors, welcome, welcome, sa to ang mga first timers, sa mga bago pa na tune in karon. Okay, welcome, welcome kay sa inyuha, welcome to CCFF, the church that welcomes you as you are. So right now, we are in a series, no? Sa toong November, na entitled, One Month to Leave. Okay? So na, daan at sa last Friday for this month. And, akong pangutan na, kinsa ang nakatune in for the first Friday, second Friday, and third Friday. Amen. So, tell yourself, tonight, na congrats self, because nakatune in ka for three Fridays. And, I wanna congratulate you all for tuning in sa to ang last topic sa to ang series na one month to leave okay so last 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 friday so first friday sa to ang series kuya vince talk about determining what matters most second si M at mj talk about deepening relationships that matter most and last friday kuya harley talk about leaving a legacy and naghatag siya tulo ka points no on how we leave our legacy if mamatay na tadali sa kalibutan so first is believe that you are capable of leaving a legacy second is turn someday into today and third is acknowledge god every day so i believe for the past three fridays sa to ang holy fire youth no dagan kay tag na learn dagan kay tag na kuha ng mga takeaways and i believe na i apply na to to sa to ang kinabuhi para na adri change life na mahitabo no so right now okay you are all excited i believe that you are all excited kay excited sad ko na i share ni na topic but before that let's pray muna let's welcome the holy spirit okay pili ba na to i-comment dila sa tong comment section we welcome you holy spirit just have your way Okay, because we are nothing without Him. Okay, let's pray. 
Yes, Lord God, our Father in heaven, precious Holy Spirit, Lord God, Lord, we welcome you in this place. Lord God, we give you praise, we give you honor, Lord God, ikaw ang sikat, ani, Lord God. I pray that you're gonna be the center of this fellowship, O God. Lord, talk to us, Lord God, and open every mind, open every heart, Lord God. Talk to every one of us, Lord God. I pray that hindi ako ang makita, but ikaw ang makita, Lord God. Lord, I pray, Lord God, anoint your word, anoint your servant, O God, and I pray that after this word, after this topic, Lord God, there will be changed lives in every one of us, Lord God, na tune in tonight, Lord God. And I pray na, Lord, na ajoy kabaguhan sa mga mga kinabuhi, Lord God. And apply dyan ang mga Lord God na topic, Lord God, in our lives, Lord God. Lord, thank you for everything. Whatever we achieve tonight, yours be the glory alone. In Jesus' name, Amen and Amen. Ayan. So, the topic, okay, the title of our topic for tonight, the last topic for our series na One Month to Live, entitled, 30 Days to a No Regrets Life. Okay, I will repeat, 30 Days to a No Regrets Life. So, first question is, is there a moment in your life that you regret the most? Okay, mag-isip-isip tayo. Okay, ayaw i-comment, okay? Just between you and yourself, no, and God, okay? Naaba kay mga moments in mga life na nag-regret ka? Or nag-regret ka because gibuhat ni mo na siya? Or wala ni mo gibuhat? Okay? Okay, I will give you time to think. What are those moments? What are what are those things na gi-regret ni mo nga? No, wala ni mo na buhat or nabuhat ni mo? Okay? So, some of us, okay, the reason nga no nag-regret ta sa taong life is because of this fear of having mistakes. Okay? Had look ta na makasala, had look ta na mamali, oh, had look ta ma-fail. Muna, dilita na nato buhaton. Okay? Dilita ta sa tong comfort zone, dilita mo add to sa kanang, ar, dilita mag-take risks because gusto lang nato na comfortable lang ta. Okay? But, at the end of the of your life, mag-regret ka, ano, wala man ako to give buhat, e, ano, wala man ko nag, nag in ato, e, nga, sayang, opportunity na to para mag-speak, opportunity na to para mag-worship lead, opportunity na to para mag-serve kay Lord, pero wala na ako give buhat, kinahadlok ko, kinahadlok ko na magkamali, okay, so naing anak sa ato, ah, kasi makarelate, okay, ayaw ka bala ka, okay, kay daghan ta, okay, relate tang tanan anak, dili lang ikaw, Okay? Second is, all of us has the syndrome of someday syndrome. Okay? You know this someday syndrome? Okay? If na ato yung opportunity na maabot sa ito ang life, no, mayingon ito na, ah, someday na, buhon na, maayong lawas. Okay? Kana, mayingon ito na, uy, ikaw mag-worship lead ka ron. Uy, pag-serve na kay Lord, ikaw mag-preach ka ron. But ato yung ingon kay, ah, someday na, pag dato na ko, Someday na, if makagraduate to college, promise, I will give my whole life to the Lord if maka makagraduate lang ko. Yes, uh, someday na, someday na, puhon, if maayon na akong lawa, someday na, if na ako'y uyab, someday na, if okay na akong life, if settle na akong family, ano, and all. Okay? But, that is not uh, God wants, no? Didi na gusto ni Lord na mahitabot sa toong kinabuhi na sige na tag someday, puhon, puhon, puhon. Okay? So, God wants to turn our someday into today. Okay? Today is your someday. So, whatever na gusto ni mo buhaton or na may hat-gihatag sa mo na opportunity, okay? Uh, ayaw na na siya ipuhon-puhon. Okay? <laughs> Today na yan, karon na na, buhatan na na, karon. Okay, this is the sign na buhaton ni mo na today, whatever that is. Okay? Second, second question. Okay? What if you only have one month to live? Okay, again, what if you only have one month to live? What would you do? Okay? Kung kabalok ka na one month na lang ka mabuhi sa kalibutan, o say mong buhaton? Okay? What will you do if you have one month to live? Okay? This question, okay? I'm not talking about here of dying, but I'm talking about here about living. Okay? God wants to remind us to how to live a life with no regrets. Okay? I'm not talking here about dying. Okay? I'm talking here about living. Okay? So, put that in your mind, that question. No? What will you do? If you have only one month to live. Okay? So, let's go to our main verse. Here in Psalms 90.12. 
Teach us to number our days that we may gain a heart of wisdom. Okay? For the series, sa, to, um, nove, sa series sa itong November karun, no? Babalik-balik na itong imadung ganing Psalms 912. Mopo niya kong napansin. Teach us to number our days. Okay? Because I really love this verse because I realize nagibasa na ako niya na verse na our days are counting down. Okay? Wala siya nagataas, nagababa siya. And if we know na ato ang days is nagadown, nagababa, we really wanna make our days count. If kabalok ka na 30 days na lang imuhang uh, lifespan dali sa kalibutan, di ba? You want to make it uh, live your life to the fullest. Okay? No? Dapat dili jodi mo sayangan. You, you make your days count if you know na your days are counting. So, ganahan kayo ko anong verse because gi-remind ta na teach us no, to number our days. Okay? And uh, last, katong first week sa November, nag-take ay nag-conduct ko og survey. Okay? Nag-conduct og survey na ang question is what if you only have one month to live? What would you do? And 100% ato na statistics, no? Amazing kayo. Kay, ang ilahang mga answers kay it's all about relationship okay because if we know na gamay na nato ang life dili sa kalibutan we become intentional in our relationship okay and ang mga sagot dito na i will give my 30 days for my family spend time with the family spend time to travel with my family and friends Anna and all, basta about God, I will serve the Lord for the 30 days, I will give my best for the 30 days, I will serve the Lord, mag study o maayong, uh, mag skin care, <laughs> nalaw yung mga uh, answer dito, basta it's all about relational, okay, relationship, okay, because we become more intentional to the things that matters the most, because if we don't decide what's important to us, then everyone else will decide it for us. Okay? So, karun palang daan, dapat kabalo na taong sa importance sa ato ah. Okay? Na importante ka ayo ang relationship. Okay? So, right now, no? Uh, I will, uh, God will teach us the four principles to live a life with no regrets. Okay? So, take down notes tayo. Okay, nakakatch up pa ba ang all? Or paspas lang ba ko? So, mag-take down note ha? Okay, apply na to ni siya no word para di dito mag-regret for this uh, 30 days. Okay, so, November is so fast approaching, no? Next week kay December na. Habit naman human ang November. Mura gahabo naman itong November 1. Okay, so, let's take this challenge. Okay, sa month of December, 30 days. Ato ni live ni four principles na itudlo ni Lord sa ato akaran. Okay? The four principles to live a life with no regrets. First, live passionately. Okay? Live passionately. Life is not measured by the number of breaths we take, but by the moments that take our breath away. So, God made us to live a life with passion. Okay? Jesus himself live a life with passion. No? Jesus is a passionate God. Okay? Kabalo siya na mamatay na siya, no? Kabalo siya na ilansan siya sa cross. So, kabalo siya na nalang siya 30 days na mabuhi sa kalibutan. So, first niya ang gibuhat is live passionately. Okay? Nakabutang pa sa John 10, verse 10, I have come that they may have life and have it to the full. Okay? So, what kind of life did Jesus come to give us? A life of faith involves risk and adventure and it is outside of our comfort zone. Okay, because sa ito ang kinabuhi ka rin, no? Two years na ito na pandemic, okay? At itong mga butang na itong ginabuhat sa una, na passionate kayo ito, na wala na. Tama ba? No, sa una, passionate kayo itong mag-study, passionate kayo itong mag-serve kay Lord. Hala, tanan, yahang ministry. Okay, passionate lagi ka ayo. Okay, but karon where are you? No? Where is your passion? Nawala na ba? Or sometimes, no, sa itong life, we intended to go with the flow na lang. Okay? 
we want to be secured mo nang didi tamo ato sa ato ang kanang di ta magtake risk okay gusto lang ta na dili lang ta sa tong comfort zone because di na kita gusto na ah mag ko ana sad adjust na sad adjust na sad ana but dili ka na ang gusto ni Lord na mahitabo sa ato ang life God wants to us to live a life with passion okay so stop existing and start living okay because all of us no okay kanang barag naga nag live na lang for survival. Okay? But God wants to remind us tonight that we should start living. Okay? And how? First is live passionately. Okay? Sa so, mga ministry, do your ministry. Okay? Balik na sa ministry. If nawala yung mga passion sa pagkanta, ibalik na siya. If nawala yung mga passion sa pag-word, ibalik na siya. Okay? If nawala yung mga passion sa pag-study, pag-study nagbalik. Kay needs kay na sa atuwa as students. Okay? So, my question is, did you live your life with passion for the two years na nag-pandemic? My question, did you live your life with passion? Or ba sinawala na? Okay? So, if you are currently living passionately for God, uh, if you are not currently living passionately for God, what will you do to change that? Okay? Okay? What will you do para mabalik yung passion? So I will give that, I will leave that question to you and answer that later after sa ito ang fellowship. Okay? So ang point na dyan number one is live passionately. If nawala ang passion ni mo sa yung mga life, bring it back. Okay? Second is love completely. Nakabutang pa sa John 13.1, Jesus knew that the hour had come for him to leave this world and go to the Father. Having loved his own who were in the world, he now showed them the full extent of his love. Okay, kabalo si Jesus na after 30 days, na ilansang na siya sa cross. So, nakabutang dali, he showed them the full extent of his love. So, sana all kaayo si Jesus, no? Masking dili siya love sa tao, kay gilove niya ang mga tao. So, dapat ing anak sa tano, dapat ing anak sa tano na kaya na to ilove ng mga tao na dili lovable. Okay? Because uh, we are all made to love, okay? And the reason that you are placed, that we are placed on this earth is to love. Because you are not really living if you are not loving. Sa doto, you are not really living if you are not loving, okay? Until you love, okay? You are not really living until you love. So if wala ka nag-love, wala dahi ka nabuhi. <laughs> So, wala dahi ka nag-live sa kung unsa man ang will ni Lord sa inyong kinabuhi. Okay? Nakabutang pa sa Matthew 22 verse 37 to 39. Jesus replied, Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the first and greatest commandment. And the second is like, love your neighbor as yourself. So, all of us are made to love. To love God, to love our neighbor, and to love ourselves. So, kung wala ka galove ka ron, take this opportunity to love others and to love God completely. Okay? And one way to love completely is to worship God. Okay? And worshiping God and by loving others. Okay? Because sa to ang life ka ron, no? Kanang nagka-focus ta kung unsay ingon sa tao and di na nato ma-love ang uban. But, God wants to remind us tonight na we should love completely if you want to live a life with no regrets. Okay? Okay, I will give you tip, okay, para maging successful sa life. Nakabutan din sa 1 Corinthians 13 verse 8, love never fails. If you want to be succeed, oh, success, of if you want to be successful in your life, sa imuhang career, sa imuhang trabaho, sa imuhang skwela, sa imuhang ministry, the answer is love okay love is the key love is the answer okay because love never fails you never fail if you love completely okay so if gusto ka maging successful alam na okay love completely ate don't give love man ako siya pero ngano nag fail man adui 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 but Okay, did it not siya failure? Okay, at least nag-love ka. He show ni mo na love ni mo siya. Okay, 
iya na ng kakulangan or iya na ng problema if wala ka niya gilove back. Okay? Basta ang importante, gilove ni mo siya. Okay? Because love is unconditional. So, ayun ha, pag condition-condition, dapat ilove back sa ka. Because if you want to love that person, you love that unconditionally. Okay? So, ayun na paghugot-hugot, kaya wala tayo angay. Okay? So, Wala ang second point, love completely. Love God, love your neighbor as yourself. Okay? So, third point, okay, catch up pa ba tayong lahat dyan? Okay? So, third point is learn humbly. This is the principle that is so very challenging. Okay? Very lesson. Because, disod ka ayaw mag-learn. Disod ka ayaw maging humble. Aminin. Okay? Kay mga pride kayo itang ng mga tao. No? Kay gusto kayo itang pride chicken. Gusto kayo itang manlaba. Okay? So, joke to siya. So, dapat mga tao mo. Okay? So, third point. Third principle that we should learn. Okay? Is learn humbly. Nakabutang ba tira sa Philippians 2 verse 5 to 8? Okay? Si Jesus, nag-learn humbly doon siya, no? Amazing ka ayo. Kautan dali. In your relationships with one another, have the same mindset as Christ Jesus, who being in very nature God, did not consider equality with God something to be used to his own advantage. Okay, wala niya gib- uh, Jesus is God, but wala niya nagigamit, no? For his own advantage. Okay, naghumble down siya. Rather, he made himself nothing by taking the very nature of a servant. Okay, abot siya dali sa kakalibutan na servant. Dili, God. Okay? Being made in human likeness. Wow! In human likeness. Like us. Okay? And being found in appearance as a man. Wow. And he humbled himself by becoming obedient to death. Even death on cross. On a cross. Wow, amazing. I believe that Jesus is the best example of being a humble person. Okay? Okay, Jesus is God, but He came on earth, okay, as a human, like us. If gusto siya makipag-talk sa bird, pwede siya maging bird. If gusto siya makipag-talk sa plant, pwede siya maging plant. But gipili ta niya ang tao, okay, because He wants to talk to us. He, want to, he wants to feel, ipa-feel sa atuan na love ta niya. Mo na naging nahihimo siyang, nahimo siyang human, okay, even He is God. Okay, He humbled down Himself by becoming obedient to that. Wow, amazing. He humbled down himself just for us. Okay, even that on a cross. Okay? So, if you want to live a life with no regrets, learn humbly. Okay? The don'ts, learn humbly. Okay, copy naman kayo sa kinabuhi. Katong imong giingan pa first, live passionately, live a love completely. Ka, kalisod ba ana? Dagan kay problema, dagan kay challenges, dagan ka ayog disadvantage, dagan ka ayog discouragement, dagan kay mga butang na dili na ako mabuhat na because dagan kay ko ginaagian. But, mo na ang sagot sa third point. Learn humbly. It means, no? Humbleness is being tested when problems come in our life. Okay? One fact, one fact, problems is always na adyo na sa itong kinabuhi. Okay? It's always present in our life. So, ayaw ka tingnan ako na kay problema karon, because kitang tanan naka-face of problema, makristyano man or dili, all of us have problems. Okay? God allows that problem into our lives to be matured enough. Okay? Because if you don't have problems, you can't experience victory in life. Okay? Because if wala kayo problema, dili ka makabaloon sa mga pag-humble down. Okay? So, God wants to teach us tonight na whatever that you are going through right now, whatever, ang sama niyong ginaagian ka ron, just humble down yourself to God. Okay? Wala na ang pride. Wala na na ang pride sa iyong heart. Because, di dito na to kaya kung kita-kita lang. Ako, to be honest, this year is so very hard. Okay? Siguro, kung ako-ako lang, wala na si Donna, give up na. Okay? But, glory to God. Okay? I humble down myself to the Lord and yun. Glory to God, yun. So that is the key, no? Learn humbly. Okay? If you want to live a life with no regrets. So last, okay? Usaga ito akong first point, live passionately. Second, love completely. Third, learn humbly. And lastly is live boldly. Okay? Nakabutang pa sa Luke 9.51. As the time approached for him to be taken up to heaven, 
Jesus resolutely set out for Jerusalem. Okay? Encircle or line that word resolutely. Resolutely means Jesus left boldly and changed the world. Okay? All of us are meant to leave this world. No? Dili ta taga dari. Dili ta taga kalibutan. Okay? Mo nang ginaingo sa to always nila pastors, no? We are just passing by here on earth. Ato ang to home jud is in heaven. No? Our home is in heaven. Okay? And there is more to life than we are experiencing experiencing right now. So, live boldly. Okay? I-undown mo self na mamatay jud ang tanan. Okay? Na mawala jud ang aning kalibutan. Okay? So, the question, are you ready to meet God? Kung ready na ka, hala, pag una. Okay? Kaya ako, dili pa ko ready. Okay? If ready na ka, sige, go. Okay? But, I know in myself that it is true that mamatay dito ang tanan. That is, is legit. Okay? Mamatay ito ang tanan and dili dili ito ang balay. Okay? Our home is in heaven. So, Put that in your mind. Okay? Live boldly. Okay? And as we die on earth, no? Kung mamatay man ta, no? Unsa man ato ang legacy na mabilin? The question is, what legacy na imuhang mapabilin if mawala na ka sa kalibutan? Kung saan ni mo na, no? How to live a legacy? The answer is, just be you. Okay? Diba last Friday, nato yung question sa life group na, kung siya mong buhaton para maka uh, pabilin kag legacy. Ako lang giingon is, walk the talk. Whatever that you are talking, kung siya mong ginaingon, whatever you are preaching, walk that. Okay? Kay, whatever that you are doing, that is your legacy. So, if gusto niyo mo na yung legacy is bad, then hala, pag droga, hala, pag pagbuhat og mga masasamang bagay but if you want to have a, lag- a good legacy then do the things na good okay like doing your ministry okay and ako i really want to live a legacy na i am that woman ah uh, i am that woman that is strong and dependent to god with a heart Mojo na kung gusto na legacy na ibilin if mawala man ko dali sa kalibutan. I want to be remembered like Donna na strong, guapa, independent, uh, dependent kay Lord with a heart. Okay? So kayo, ano ang iyo? <laughs> Yan ang tanong, no? Sa imuha, on sa imuha gusto na legacy. Okay? Put that in your mind. Okay? Basta ang answer is just be you. Okay? So, that is the four principles to live a life with no regrets. First is live passionately. Do the things with passion. Kiibalik yung mong passion. Third, a second is love completely. Love God, love others, love yourself. Even dili sila nagapakita og love sa imuha, love them. Okay? Third is learn humbly. Be humble because you can do nothing without God. Okay, so humble yourself to the Lord. Lastly, is live boldly. Dili juta magdugay dili sa kalibutan mga matay juta ng tanan. So, live boldly and karon palang daan, no? Ibutan na sa mo ang mind kung unsa ang legacy na dapat na gusto ni mo ibilin if mawala na ta sa kalibutan. Okay? So, gets ba ang four principles? Okay, right now, I will end this story, the story of Marites. You know Marites is? Okay. Kani si Marites, every morning, pagmataan ni niya, ungrateful kayo siya sa world. Pagmata niya, ah, morning na sad, Monday na sad, kapuya, uy, work na sad, trabaho na sad, online class na sad, kapuya, wala nang kinabuhi, uy. No? Pagsugoon siya, kadiri siya, mutuman, because sige lang siya ML, sige lang siya cellphone, ana and all, and parang pag naa siya, pag mag out of town sila as family, dili siya muuban, kay sila na siya, sila lagi siya ganang ML, sila na siya ganang uh, focus sa mga unimportant things. Okay? Wala siya nagahatag og time sa iyong family, wala siya nagahatag og time sa iyong friends, wala siya nagahatag og time sa iyong ministry. 
Okay? Because sa pandemic, sa so na-addict sa ML, na-addict sa BTS, na-addict sa unsa padala na online na mga gaming and all, media, ana and all. So, niabot ang time, nung nagkasakit siya, kiadto siya sa hospital. Ana ang doctor dito. Marites, you only have one month to live. Na-shock si Marites. Ano siya? Sure ka, Doc? One month? Sure. Ino mag vitamin C? Sure. Anong doktor lagi? Na na kay one month to live. Dito. Dito. Na-change. Na-change dyan ang life ni Marites. Nakaana siya na. Sayang sa time na ako ang gisayangan sa pag-ML, sa pagtanog kay drama, sa pagtanog mga yung ani, ana, and all, sa pag-Netflix. Wala ko nagkahin og time sa family, friends, ministry, and all. And karoon na 30 days na lang akong life. Kabalo mo siyang gibuhat. He became, he become intentional sa yung relationship. Okay? Naghatag siya time sa family, naghatag siya time sa ministry, naghatag siya time sa young self. Okay? Sometimes, yung anak ta, no? Mulatag si Marites, no? Pagtagaan tag deadline, dila na ta mulihok. Okay? Pagkabalo na ganito, no? Mamatay na ta for 30 days, dila na ta maghatag og value sa time. Dila na ta maghatag og value sa taon na kapalibot sa ito, ah. But God wants to tell us, no, to remind us, no, to live a life with no regrets. Don't be like that, okay? Live your life with passion. Live your life na love, with love, no? Uh, be humble. And if you do that thing, no, di di ka mag-regret. Basing kwaon pa kadali sa kalimutan, Okay? Unta no yung anak na lang ang life na ingnan ta no, 30 days na lang ka para mabuhi. Para mabuhat jud na to kung sa to mga gusto no. But mo na ang gusto ni Lord na i i para learn sa ato ano na this 30 days <coughs> na mabuhi ta. Okay? Don't just make it like a uh, challenge no para mabuhi but uh, make it as a lifestyle. Okay? I make it as your mindset na what if 30 days na lang kung mabuhi ang sa kong buhat di ba lahi radit ka ayo if kabalok ka na 30 days na lang kadali sa kalibutan okay kay if di na to tagaan o deadline no kadi di ta mulihok okay so gato siya I challenge you to live passionately to love completely to learn humbly and to live boldly. Last month, as yung nakita ninyo dila sa picture, no? Last month, grabe kayo to, last, 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 last year, uh, month of March, nag-series me of what if you only have one month to live. And wala na mo inapadayon because nag-lockdown. And amazing kaayo no na series, what if you only have one month to live. And nakita ninyo dila ang mga answer, I choose to be happy, magbuo na ko og to disciples, mag-share ko sa word ni Lord sa tibu kalibutan, to live a life and I will worship the Lord, mag-disciples na ko, magbasa na ko Bible, I will live my life, my remaining days to glorify God. No, dagan kayong mga answers na nakita nato dila. And ang pangutan na, gibuhat ba nato? Okay? So right now, my question, what if you only have one month to live? What would you do? Okay? So I hope na i-apply na to tong upat ka uh, principles. Live passionately, love completely, learn humbly, and live boldly. Okay? So as we end, let's sing this song. Let's make this song as a prayer na let's give our heart to God. Okay, let's sing the song and meditate the lyrics of the song. Yes, Lord God, give you praise. We worship you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. This is my desire to honor you, Lord. With all my heart, I worship you. Yes, Lord. 
have your way in me. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord, we worship you, Lord God. Hallelujah. Okay, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. We give you our hearts, O God. Thank you for that wonderful worship. I pray that now you change life na mahita po ka, Lord God. Hallelujah. Come on, let's end this uh, session. Let's end this topic with a prayer. Let's pray. Yes, dear God, our Father in heaven, precious Holy Spirit, Lord God, Lord, thank you so much for this day. Thank you so much for your word, Lord God. Lord, I pray na Lord, kaning upat ka principles na gimong gitudlo sa mga tonight, Lord God, ma-apply na muli sa mga kinabuhi, Lord God, to live passionately, to love completely, to learn humbly, and to live boldly, Lord God. And dito na dyan mag-regret, Lord God, sa mga kinabuhi, Lord God, if we uh, apply this four principles, Lord God, in our life, Lord God. Lord, I pray, Lord God, that there will be changed life, Lord God, sa tanan, Lord God, aminaw, ani na word, Lord God. I pray, Lord God, na mag-live me, Lord God, a life, Lord God, na according to your will, Lord God. Holy Spirit, Lord God. Lord, uh, forgive us, Lord God. Forgive those uh, people, Lord God, na kasalat, Lord God. Forgive us, Lord God. And I pray that you will renew us every day, Lord God, with your love, with your strength, with your joy, Lord God, with your Holy Spirit, Lord God. Lord, Holy Spirit, whatever we achieve to night, yours be the glory alone, Lord God. We give you praise, we give you honor, Lord God. Thank you so much, Holy Spirit, Lord God. In Jesus' name, Amen and Amen. So, our life group question, okay? First is what if you only have one month to live, what would you do? Second, what are your regrets in life? And lastly, what have you learned from this topic? If you want to join the life group uh, session, just PM for the boys. Vince Guhetia and for the girls Arian Garcia so just enjoy your life group and have a nice day and great night good night everyone and see you next sun next Friday and see you this Sunday God bless we are encouraging everyone to join our life group discussion please contact Vince Guhetia for you to be assigned to a designated life group leader we would like to invite you this Sunday on our online Sunday celebration every 9 a.m. Thank you so much for tuning in to our Holy Fire Youth Service. See you again next week. God bless.